Are you struggling to lose weight even after trying every diet and workout plan? What if I told you that peptides, small proteins that target fat, hunger, and metabolism, could help unlock the results you've been looking for? Hello, I'm Dr. Siddharth Thamber from Chicago Arthritis and from Jar Medicine. I want to talk about peptides and how they can support weight loss. We'll cover everything from GLP-1 agonists to growth hormone-releasing peptides like CJC-1295 and epimorelin, and even peptides like AOD-9604 that target fat directly. I'll explain how they work, which ones are FDA-approved, and how they can fit into a broader weight loss plan. Let's start with the most popular class of weight loss peptides, GLP-1 agonists. These peptides have gained a lot of attention for their ability to reduce appetite and improve metabolic health. Semaglutide, known by the brand names Wagovi and Ozempic, is FDA approved for both weight loss and diabetes management. It works by mimicking the GLP-1 hormone, which helps reduce appetite and control blood sugar. Many patients have seen significant weight loss with semaglutide. Trizepatide, brand name Manjaro or Zepbound, is another exciting option. It's FDA approved for type 2 diabetes, but is often used off-label for weight loss. Zepbound is another trizepatide brand name, is approved for weight loss as well. What makes trizepatide special is that it doesn't just target the GLP-1 receptor, it also targets GIP receptors, which play a role in fat metabolism and insulin sensitivity. This dual action can lead to greater weight loss than semaglutide alone. And then we have retitrutide, a newer triple receptor agonist that's still in development, but showing significant promise. Retitrutide targets GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon receptors. This triple action approach could lead to even more profound effects on weight loss, blood sugar control, and overall metabolic health. Keep an eye on this one for the future. These GLP-1 agonists are particularly helpful for people who have struggled with weight loss due to appetite and cravings but they also benefit those with metabolic conditions like diabetes. Now let's shift gears and talk about growth hormone releasing peptides or GHRPs like CJC-1295, epimorelin, and sumorelin. These peptides work by stimulating the release of growth hormone, which helps boost metabolism, burn fat, and support lean muscle mass. CJC-1295 is a long-acting GHRP that increases growth hormone over time, making it great for fat loss and muscle building. Epimorelin is another GHRP, but it's known for fewer side effects and works well in combination with CJC-1295 to maximize fat loss and muscle gain without causing hunger spikes. Sermorelin is another option often used to support growth hormone levels in people as they age or who have deficiencies. These peptides are great for people who want to maintain or build muscle while burning fat, and they work particularly well for those engaged in regular physical activity. Now let's talk about peptides that target fat directly. AOD9604 and tesamorelin. AOD9604 is a peptide fragment of human growth hormone designed to boost fat metabolism without affecting blood sugar. It's often used off-label to help reduce stubborn body fat, although it's not FDA approved specifically for weight loss. Tesamorelin, on the other hand, is FDA approved, but for a specific condition, HIV-associated lipodystrophy which causes fat buildup in certain areas. Off-label, tesmorelin is being used to reduce abdominal fat and improve overall metabolic health. These peptides can be beneficial for people who are focused specifically on losing body fat rather than just managing appetite. One of the most exciting things about peptide therapy is that some of these peptides can be combined to enhance their effects. For example, CJC-1295 and epimorelin are often used together to maximize growth hormone release while minimizing side effects like hunger. This combination can support both fat loss and muscle gain. You can also combine GLP-1 agonists like semaglutide or trizepatide with AOD-9604 to attack both appetite and fat burning at the same time. This can be particularly effective for people who need to lose a significant amount of weight. By combining peptides, we can tailor treatments to target multiple factors, such as cravings, metabolism, and fat loss. It's important to know which peptides are FDA approved and which are used off-label. In terms of FDA approved ones for weight loss, semaglutide such as Wagovi and trizepatide such as Zepbound. For treatments that are FDA approved for other conditions, 
such as tesamorelin for HIV-related fat deposits. They are occasionally used off-label for general weight loss as well. And then just off-label use, you'll have AOD9604, epimorelin, CJC1295, and surmorelin. Using peptides off-label isn't necessarily unsafe, but you really should always work with a doctor who understands how to prescribe these treatments safely and knows how to follow you appropriately to make sure you are not developing side effects. Peptide therapy is a great option for people who've tried traditional weight loss methods without success or those who's who have conditions like type 2 diabetes or metabolic syndrome. It's also ideal for athletes or anyone looking to maintain muscle while losing fat. In fact, as we age, maintaining your weight at a healthy level is key. Sometimes with weight loss, you can also lose muscle mass as well. Maintaining your muscle mass is very important as we age, and peptide combinations can help you to lose weight and maintain or improve muscle mass as well. But remember, peptides aren't right for everyone, so it's important to have a personalized plan created by your physician. Like any treatment, peptides come with some potential side effects. Common ones include nausea, headaches, and digestive issues, especially with GLP-1 agonists like semaglutide and trisepatide. Growth hormone-related peptides, like CJC1295, may cause fluid retention or mild joint pain. That's why regular follow-up with your doctor is essential to monitor your response and adjust your plan as needed. While peptides can give you a boost, they work best when combined with healthy habits like balanced eating, regular exercise, and stress management. For example, GLP-1 agonists can help reduce cravings, but you still need to eat a healthy diet. Similarly, growth hormone-related pe peptides like ebomorelin can support muscle growth, but only if you're active and working out. Most people won't see instant results from peptides. It takes time for your body to respond, and you'll typically notice changes after a few weeks, like less hunger, more energy, and slow but steady fat loss. Your doctor will adjust your dosage as needed to help you achieve your best results. The key to peptide therapy is you start on a low dose, and as needed, you slowly escalate the dosage as required and as tolerated. Peptide therapy offers a new way to support weight loss, appetite control, and metabolic health. Whether you're looking to reduce fat, build muscle, or manage cravings, peptides can be an excellent tool when used as part of a personalized plan. At Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine, we specialize in creating tailored treatments to help our patients reach their health goals safely and effectively. If you think peptide therapy might be right for you, reach out to learn more. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more tips on weight loss, regenerative medicine, and rheumatology. If you have any other questions, drop a comment below or contact us at Chicago Arthritis. Stay well, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.